They're certainly the informed sign in the division, firing on all cylinders heading into this one. But so are Blues, as there goes the pyrotechnics. Blues and Bolton, just two of five teams in the division, yet to drop a point since taking the lead. So the first goal here tonight is vital. Another chance to make history for this blue side who are breaking. Santos, the Portuguese heart of that back three, does the fielding. It's picked back up by Paik Sung Ho. And this is Alfie May, chops in field on the left foot, looks at standing up but towards the back post. There was Villains. Iwata on the volley! And what a start! And what a goal! It's another gem from Tomoki Iwata. And with not even three minutes on the clock, Blues make the dream start at St Andrews at Nighthead Park. And it's him again from distance, Tomoki Iwata. Alfie made chopping in field his left foot, looked to float it towards Willemsen. Bolton Wanderers cleared, but only as far as the Japanese international, who made no mistake, just got so much power behind the volley, and it eluded the dive of Luke Southwood, and another top quality finish from him. It's a wonderful finish, Matt. He had so much time to think about it. The ball was in the air for a long time, which makes it an even harder skill. But he's elected to go with the inside of his left foot rather than go for power those, with his left. Those players that are put in those positions since the, the substitution can move the Bolton team around. And there's the half-time whistle. Another satisfying first half as far as Chris Davis is concerned. So Bolton get us back underway for the second half here at St Andrews at Knighthead Park. Work to do for them. In the six-yard box, Clara involved. Peck's corner kick, Clara was under it, but so was a Bolton head. They got there first, deep inside the six-yard box. Clara, what a ball that is as he fitted out to the far side, the right. Iwata, free-handed for Laird, and it's a great save by Southwood. Many inside the ground, including me, thought that, that was creeping into the bottom corner. Yeah, absolutely echo your thoughts, Matt. I think Ethan Laird probably always planned to play an hour tonight to just get a feel for it, get his legs back. He was looking a little bit jaded. Take was Cogley. And uh, the pass from uh, Sheehan eludes Mateta, but then Mateta eludes Anderson, and Mateta can hook in towards the penalty area. Taylor Gardner-Hickman got first contact on it. And then Iwata, with an overhead clearance, out of play on the left-hand side. But Bolton Wanderers just flexing their muscles slightly. Yeah, it's Adebayejo that, that runs in behind the centre-backs. That's something that they certainly can't afford to have on too many occasions before the end of this game. Reverse ball through to find John McAtee, who looked to steer it across the six-yard box. For an elbow by rolling to the floor, the referees told him to get up, and all of a sudden, he's fine. It's an important header by Davis from the free kick, with uh, Bolton having a three-strong overload down this right-hand side if... The ball would have eluded Ben Davis, and uh, a hefty challenge in the middle. And Bolton have well and truly grown into this in the final 15 minutes or so. Iwata, and this is McAtee, and here's the chance for Bolton, and Ryan Allsop makes a huge save in his near post. Hasn't had anything to do. Not least of which the exhibition against Lincoln City. Looking to emulate that this evening. Anderson step overs. Stands up into the penalty area. Anderson goes down and that's a penalty. Keshi Anderson, superb, spellbinding. In on Keshi Anderson as he produced the cross over the six yard box. And as soon as the chance went, the referee pointed to the spot and Blues have a penalty and a chance, surely, to clinch all three points. Well, the referee was waiting for the advantage because it was still a wonderful cross, even though he was fouled to the extent that the ref gave the penalty. But Willemsen couldn't put it in the net, so he gave. So Jay Stansfield from 12 yards to put daylight between the two sides. Stansfield against Southwood, steps up and scores! <laughs> Rifles it down the middle. And on his return from injury, it's back to business as usual for Jay Stansfield. And my word, business is good. Stansfield from 12 yards makes no mistake. A two-goal cushion now for Blues. Two goals on the night. And with five minutes to go, Tommy Mooney, you would hope all three points. Well, it's that second goal of the game that's so vital. We just didn't think we'd have to wait 80 minutes. A well-worked free kick from Bolton, having said that. 
at this stage of the game to get somebody so much space at the back post. And Birmingham have got away with it. Stansfield. Still battling. Surrenders possession, though, to McAtee, who's had two golden opportunities for Bolton Wanderers and has been made to pay. But McAtee bursting into the penalty area. There's a third for McAtee, denied again. He's wasted another one. Swarm by four blue shirts, and it's Willemsen who turns it over on the halfway line. Telegon the Hickman. The flick on by Stansfield, it comes up for Willemsen who pulls the trigger, that's blocked by a Bolton body. Iwata rose to shoot, Leonard edge of the penalty area. Charged down, one of the fraction too long on it, but has retained possession. And now Willemsen Blues just toying with their opposition as Willemsen hits it low towards that near post. Southwood got down to make the save, 2-0. Well, it's a comfortable couple of minutes that have ticking the clock down. But Willemsen's desperate to get on the score sheet, isn't he? He's, every time he's had it in the second half, he's set himself up for a shot. Comfortable for the goalkeeper on that occasion. And there is the full-time whistle the referee brings to an end. Bolton suffering in stoppage time. It's another huge three points on our quest back to the championship.